uh, 10 till uh, 7 a.m. this morning and I am in the process of heading to work now. Uh, sorry you guys didn't see any footage when I got home, but uh, it might, the media on my phone ended up getting full. But uh, there are a couple of things I would like to discuss right here on YouTube. What are my plans for my blogs? Uh, what do I want to accomplish in these day in the lives? Hello world, I'm Maya Sendermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far I have been able to share my experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum or rather have Asperger syndrome. A second thing that I will do is provide uh, my two cents on uh, what's going on with autism in the media and a third area entails uh, providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum, I will also reach out to your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody who is inside the autistic community. And finally, I will cover topics on things that I'm passionate about, along with sharing the day in the life of Maya Sendermeyer. So check it out. I do a lot of my blogs on Marta, and I wanted to tell you YouTube, and those of you that are watching, I don't want to do 100%, uh, not 75%, not even 50% of uh, blogging on Marta, because uh, I want you guys to see more of the day in the life of Maya, uh, plans for that. Sure, I would like to uh, get on a Greyhound and go back to Savannah and uh, get, in, get a good rate on a hotel there and just explore the city when the weather's nice and just sh uh, talk to uh, wait staff and talk to the people that are uh, in museums and all kinds of people. Um, I also would like to uh, possibly talk to people that drive the trolley into uh, the uh, Tybee Island area because I would really like to go to the beach and being that the Georgia coast is one of my favorite places to go in Georgia, or rather it's one of my favorite vacation spots that's a getaway. It's close enough, but it's far away at the same time, but it's just maybe what a uh, four hour drive from Atlanta depending on traffic and uh, it's just a straight shot from Atlanta and then a, even more of a straight shot from Macon. Um, the other time I was in Savannah and I'd, I'd been wanting to go back since was when uh, Dr. Grandin was uh, there doing a talk for the Matthew Reardon Autism Conference and um, there's just um, a lot of neat things there that I would like to see and a lot of things there that I need to see like the spot where they filmed Forrest Gump or a lot of old historic homes uh, take trolleys around uh, everything so, uh, in other news uh, I have been following a um, media page on Twitter called the Autism Gazette and they've been following me back and basically uh, my blogs have been uh, connected to Twitter or my YouTube is connected to Twitter and by the time those go up the uh, Autism Gazette gets a hold of my information and uh, what they're doing is they're promoting my blogs in their uh, their news site and their uh, database and I have no problem with that being that I'm trying to uh, promote my blogs and uh, really get going not only to the autistic communities but to um, others that watch YouTube as well I mean I'd like to uh, draw attention from people who watch PewDiePie I'd like to draw attention uh, people that watch Casey Neistat I'd like to draw attention 
from people who listen to Nick Cameron. Or rather, yeah, Nick Cameron, Nick Cameron Sherman. You name it. I just got off work for the day, which was nice and structured, and there was plenty to do. Um, I'm on my way to grab lunch across the street at uh, one of the, the dining halls here on campus. Hi, how you doing? Hello. Which floor are you in? Uh, lobby. Yeah, we're going up. Going up? Oh, I can go up and go back down. Well, that's, a, that's where you're at. <laughs> that's, that's cool. So, uh, I'm in a vlog on YouTube. You want to say hello? Uh, yeah. So, what do you do at Georgia uh, State? I'm sweating like crazy. I'm uh, one of the administrators on the 12th floor. Oh, wait, cool. I do administration work, too, but I'm also research project assistant. Oh, cool. That's a good one. Bye. I'm going to uh, head down to lobby and then I am headed straight uh, across the street to Panther Dining but I have a uh, I have a new topic I would like to talk about based on uh, some responses I've been getting on YouTube regarding the way people on the spectrum are treated by others as a whole in society. And I want to be as encouraging as possible being that I'm a leader. This is February 18th, uh, 2018, and what I wanted to do first is cross-promote oh, two things. First thing, actually one thing, that vlog. This is a vlog again by um, Drew Lynch, his dog vlog, and I wanted to let you know that you can find it in the upper right-hand corner. And you can check that out. I just wanted to warn you that this uh, vlog has a lot of really foul language in it, so be concerned. But it's about a um, experience that Drew had a couple years ago where he was uh, eating out at a Panda Express and uh, another customer attacked him uh, verbally for bringing a uh, service dog into uh, the restaurant and basically accusing Drew of using um, the uh, service dog as an excuse. Oh. Anyway, uh, the second thing I'd like to do is uh, promote my written blogs on wordpress.com. And you can find these under Hello World 240.wordpress.com. That's Hello World 240.wordpress.com. And what I'd like to do now is uh, give a response to a uh, posting on my uh, blog on fake friends and one of them is telling me that they have struggled for about uh, 13 years and how other people uh, don't like him because of the way he looks and other people uh, play games with him online and lead him around about how uh, they're going to be right back and then they just blow him off online and they tell him that they care about him, which is a big lie. And he's telling me how um, he's not good enough for other women. And I wanted to uh, let you know that, uh, no, no, that's not true at all. 
Uh, anybody who uh, makes you feel bad like that, anybody that tells you that you're ugly or tells you to get plastic surgery, those are shallow-minded people and uh, it means that they're not worthy of you as a person and it means that they're not good enough for you. And that's a good sign because there are uh, eventually, even if it's been 13 years, there are people out there that are good enough for you. And you'll know that by, again, by their body language. You'll know that by their sincerity. They're gonna bring you up. They're, they don't care what you look like. They'll talk to you on uh, line for hours. Like, uh, I'd be willing to talk to you online. I am full now, so uh, I'm just uh, sitting here uh, drinking a uh, lime-infused water mixed with a little bit of uh, Dasani sparkling from one of the freestyle machines. But if you like what I'm doing, please be sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up and also be sure to share these uh, vlogs on social media. Until next time, I'm Maya Sendermeyer and I'm signing off now.